Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my Ubid Sultanate campaign for Gearhawk's Retrofit Mod Hot Seat Grand Campaign, turn number 59. And, uh, another mess. I just don't want to really read anything from him, because every time he messages me, it ends up being a lie, and he takes takes out an army of mine or a fleet or something. Um... If you simply hand these over to me once Venetian are dealt with, I'll compensate you with not only free reign over the Holy Land, but supplement any invasion you choose, be it the Turks or Christians, but I'll also gift you 10,000 florins. Sure, I'm always willing to do another alliance against the HRE. Excellent. Me and Spain are ready. We'll strike France next turn. It seems like he is expecting it, considering he has a large concentration of forces on the Spanish border, but I think we'll be able to push through. I wonder if I could get them to attack the HRE instead. I wonder if they would agree to that. Now, why... What's going on here? Oh, it's all the heretics. Hmm... Okay, well, we do have some money to spend here. Let's grab another Imam. Uh, it looks like the Imam that I had maybe was taken out, or he possibly died of old age, actually. I've got one down here at Dongala trying to keep things together, and it looks like things have stabilized for now. I could turn up the tax right there once again, which is good. Uh, over here as well, we finally were able to get rid of those heretics, so things are slowly coming under control, which is good to see. Uh... So he's sieging at Thessalonica. I serve the faith. What does the Sultan will? Which obviously we can't do anything about. I was just thinking if like I should enter into non-aggression pact with him or something so that it makes him keep his word, but I don't really think that's necessary. Now, where is the other army that I had kind of moving around? Uh, this is my main fleet. And I was building up another fleet over here as well. Where did his ships go, I wonder? I kind of want to make sure that the way is clear. Uh, so I have that army there, which is pretty banged up. Uh, let's just drop the crusade. Uh, and then jump on out again. Too late to join the Jihad. Oh, well, what happened there then? So I guess these ones can't. So did the Jihad fail? Because we... No, it's still... It's still ongoing, so that's bizarre. I don't know why that happened, so okay. Uh, let's just put leave these archers there then. No, I just want them into the fort. Uh, I guess, yeah, I can leave them there for now. I've got a small force coming over here from the Turks. But yeah, that other army was destroyed, I'm assuming. There's a Venetian navy. Let's just clear that out of the way. There we go, and then push up this way. And then we're going to follow these guys in tow very close behind. Uh, that's not a very good odds for us, but I can actually bring these guys in, probably to scrape a win out of that. Looks like we can. There we go. So they have sunk, which is excellent. Uh, still a little unsure of where those Holy Roman Empire fleets went, though, which is a little bit worrying. Uh, but how much is the garrison providing here? It is providing quite a bit of garrison. It, are any of these characters providing issues for the public order? If so, I might try to take them out. So it's 60 with him in and 60 with him out. What about this guy? Uh, it's actually a little better if he's gone, so let's move him over to there. 
Uh, that way they shouldn't riot. If it's 70. I could drop it a little bit, but it does mean that I lose 400 Florins per turn. Okay. We'll grab some more spears from Jerusalem and then begin carting them over next turn. We'll have a pretty solid force there ready to go. So I did build up a little bit of a force at Damascus. I guess we'll keep them there for now, just as like a little bit of a secondary force. But I just can't trust Gearhawk. He's double-crossed me too many times. So like his word really doesn't mean too much to me anymore. Um... The ship right here, I don't know if that's going to give me any extra income. It doesn't look like it will. Let's grab some extra spears there. How is uh, Jeddah doing over here? I've kind of neglected them for quite some time. They're very Islamic, which is good. But yeah, I don't really think they need uh, anything else. Damascus, though, might be able to get something to help with their with their income. Uh, what about crop rotation? It's an extra 60, but then the corruption goes up a bit. And we're also getting devastation. Why? There must be a an enemy army around here somewhere. Council chamber. City watch would allow Saracen militia to be trained. That could be useful up in the north, which is good. Naam, great sultan. Yeah, so I'm kind of just going to ignore these armies. I'll let Gearhawk deal with them, I think. And at Corinth, yeah, let's continue getting more spears. Uh, I could cart over quite a few spears from Arachlion as well. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to be okay for income, so let's go ahead and grab two more there. Uh, just beefing up my garrisons a little bit here, just to try and slow him down. There... There is an army, and that is worrisome. Uh, I thought I had another big fleet somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure where that is. Or maybe it is only the one. Maybe I can bind them? Or no, didn't I? Yeah, I knew I had another army here. Right. I wonder if I could beat that. I definitely could. I just won't have anything to follow it up with, which is unfortunate. Because all of my fleets I've moved. If I take all of these now... And just leave three of them. That's a pretty substantial force as it is. Let's get started moving over here. And I think I'm going to do it. I don't really feel bad, because he, he always does this to me. So, like, if he loses his army here, or he won't be able to move it next turn, and then I'll be able to swing in with uh, all of my other units. If he takes me out, so what? But, like, like I said, like, he promises payment for these settlements and stuff, but who's to say he won't? I won't just give them to him, and then he'll, he'll uh, just turn around and continue attacking or not pay, so... Uh, what do we got over here, too? That's a very small navy. Yeah, we should be we should be able to take that out. Because that I knew I had another large fleet somewhere. So I wonder where it went to. It's right over here. Can I get war galleys instead here? Or a couple of dows. We'll get two more dows there. And... Yeah, one down a spear militia. And I can bring this Dao over as well. And I can bring those two in to hit in one turn. These guys, unfortunately, would be too far away. So they're going to have to continue north. But these guys can... Oh, not quite hit in one turn. Mm. Yeah, that is unfortunate. These are the ice waters. Uh, yeah, so Ken Dow's... Because those are hulks, so they're kind of garbage. Oh, no, 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 the hulks are the better ones, 10 and 12, and then he has two cogs. But I want to say that... We should be okay? Okay. 
Inshallah, the wind shall return tomorrow. Yeah, I can't offload my army this turn. But actually, if I offload my army, they may be able to reach. So, yeah, he could come down here and uh, take out this Jihad army. That's a very good possibility. So maybe what I'll actually do is... I've got to leave a couple of units in there. So let me take these two archers into there. And then take everything but that archer and put it back into Corinth. So that would slow him down for another turn. And then what I'm going to do is get another one, just to be sure. I can always retrain stuff too, and then once I clear these away, uh, we can cart over a lot of these Spear Militia to combat that army. But that's a very good army that he's going to lose now, because I should be able to just uh, just attack it non-stop. In fact, I'll probably attack it with these three armies first, drive it north, if possible. If not, I might actually need some more ships at Alexandria as well. So let's grab two more Dows. And just try and cover as much ground as possible there. Uh, so there's another Dow that we can grab. And that's pretty much all of our money. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'll just say... Uh, not really believing the whole... You have my word... Thing. You've never kept your word thus far uh and then yeah let's try and get the spanish and the uh sorry the spanish uh speaking with sicily he says france seems ready to defend himself maybe a sneak strike on the hre would be better France has said he would like to see the HRE fall. So do something like that. And then uh, Sicily here. Maybe a strike at the HRE would be better. France and I are on neutral terms. And he has agreed to a possible alliance against the HRE. Maybe a strike from you and Spain will hit the HRE harder. Because, as you said, France seems to be expecting you. So yeah, if, if they can all go after the HRE as well, I can maybe help the Turks kind of solidify the claims over here. The only issue is, is that I have no idea how much of this territory he's lost, but I'm assuming that Gear owns almost all of Russia and a lot of this territory, and it won't be too long before he starts filtering down uh, into, um, uh, into Anatolia. So... Yeah, it's definitely something to watch for, but uh, we're going to try and fight back as hard as we can. I think that the uh, time for diplomacy might uh, have just run its course with our actions here to attack uh, these ships. And as I said, he's not able to move them uh, next turn either, so they're going to be locked there. Uh, so we should be able, with all of our ships, to kind of just ping-pong them around until that navy is sunk um, to the depths of the sea. Let's go ahead and end the turn. And send it off to the Golden Imperium next. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.